So I thought today we could paint a basket of strawberries in the Chinese brush painting style. So I have loaded my brush with black ink and I'm going to make some kind of side sweeping strokes to form the basket. So I'm going to start with the top of the basket and I'm just going to kind of layer my strokes until I get the size that I want. And I think that's a good size. So I'll add back side to the basket and then I'm going to add um, some handles so we can hold on to our basket. So I'm just going to make a few curving strokes. Um, and now I'm going to clean up my brush and load it with a nice red color for the berries. Um, I'm going to use alizarin crimson watercolor. Um, and I'm going to put the whole brush on the paper and then I'm going to roll it from side to side. So I'm going to push down and then I'm going to roll to the left and to the right and that forms kind of the base of my berry. And then for the top of it, I'm going to make two short little strokes. Um, and now I'm going to just keep repeating this, filling up my basket. I'm going to change the size of some of my berries because not all berries are the same. Um, you can add as many as you like. Um, and then I'm going to put one of them outside of my basket just for fun. I'm going to make him kind of big. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to put the uh, stems and little leaves and then some bigger leaves. Um, so I've loaded my brush with uh, sap green mixed with a little bit of the dark ink. Uh, so we're going to put the little berry tops. And I'm just kind of pushing down on the brush and pulling. And I'm going to add a couple of leaves and I'm just going to put my brush down and pull for one leaf and I'll have a couple of leaves you know, coming in and out of the basket. Uh, and then I'm going to put one big kind of strawberry leaf here and I'm going to do that by pushing my brush down and then kind of rotating it to form this little hand shape. Now I've cleaned off my brush and I've loaded it with black ink and I'm going to add the seeds. I'm only going to put the seeds on one side of the berry um, because this style of painting you don't need to put a lot of seeds. And uh, if your berries are still damp, the ink will spread. If you don't like that, just let your painting dry for a few minutes. Now to complete the seeds, I've cleaned off my brush and I've loaded it with uh, white uh, ink. You could also use thick white watercolor paint. And I'm going to put a white dot on top of the black dots that I've already made. And with this same white, I'm going to add the center veins of my leaves. And I'm just using the tip of the brush. And since strawberries grow on a vine, you can add a few little curly cues around to show that they came from a vine. This isn't necessary, just add some fun to your painting. And there you have it, a basket of strawberries. Hope you enjoy it.